When adult students come and they make a commitment to retool, upskill, restart, for whatever that reason might be, that's a significant um, sacrifice. When they make that commitment and they're here and they complete a program, whether they're going to enter the workforce or whether they're going to move into additional um, education or whether they're going to become an entrepreneur. They stuck it out. They made it to the end. Good for them. It's going to be good for the families. It's going to be good for the community. Because one of the things I think that we do when we do well here is trying to meet students where they are and then bring them to where they need to be. I love it because there are in one place you can see so many pathways. Um, I know when I went to school, there was one pathway. I didn't even know there were other pathways that veered off from the, the singular one I was on. And so for our students, I think it's really important that they see um, different career pathways, different ways to achieve that career, and they see other people that are doing it who are just like them. People need options, and so Eastland Fairfield does that and the, the experience that the students get when they're here, it's just unsurmountable. So, you know, it's cutting edge. We have to always be at the top of our game in terms of offering um, in-demand programs, offering viable options for individuals. And so just that constant being able to be creative, be able to think outside the box, be able to bring something new to the table, be able to involve the community. So all of those things are just kind of real exciting. We have students who are thinking of completing their education and getting earning their high school diploma. Um, it's called a high school equivalency diploma. And also we have many people in our area that need help with their English language skills. And so we have free courses for both of those types of individuals. For our English speakers, or actually non-English speakers, especially people who are not even literate in their own countries come to learn English from, this, from us. And um, I will say to them, you know, hello, how are you? And they will say, hello, how are you to me? And we will celebrate like you couldn't say that a week ago. I think they're some of the bravest people that you would ever want to meet because they're overcoming just the risk they're risking to come to school when maybe it didn't work out so well in the past. And they know what it's like because unlike high school students, they have seen the challenges of living an adult life. They, they struggle with with supporting a household and children and their, and their lifestyle. They're supporting all that on minimum wage, wage um, employment. And so to see them, first of all, risk it and then start making games and celebrating those games with them, it's just, it's just everything. Um, especially when they report that they've helped their child with homework for the first time. And probably the best is when we have a graduation ceremony and little children are just shouting, you know, like, go mom. It's, it's just really a great feeling.